Good morning, good morning, good morning. We here. Folks already been hitting me up like, Miguel, where you at? We need it. I got it, okay? We in it. I got a good one for you today. I want to dedicate this video to every man and woman that has decided, is deciding, or has served our nation's military. Um, and the reason being is because we got some letters back from my brother who I told y'all was in the Marines. And his girlfriend, who's in the army, and both of them talked about how they getting they getting punished. They they getting the wood laid to them, but um, justice. His girlfriend is having a little bit more time, so I want to dedicate this once again to everybody out there in service or planning on serving or has served, and we're gonna keep on going from there. Um, quick story. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie The Last Samurai, the star of Tom Cruise, you need to go see it. Um, but I want to pull one part from that, and that is it is. One particular part on there where Tom Cruise has been captured um, and he's been with the samurai for so many months that he begins to want to learn their ways, their skills, their swordsmanship, their beliefs. And, um, and he gets to a point where in his swordsmanship, he is ready to fight the general um, in a practice round. And in this practice round, he's getting whooped. The general's beating him every time. Okay. Um, one particular time he gets beat, knocks him down, and the Lord, of, the Lord's son comes to him and says, too many mine. And he's like, what do you mean, too many mine? He says, too many mine. Mind the people, mind the sword, mind the animals, mind the weather, mind the ground, too many mine. One mine. Tom Cruise, like, light bulb went off in his hand. He stands up, get a sword in his hand, closes his eyes for a second. And he focuses, clears his mind of everything around him. Once he finishes focusing, he goes in and begins to fight uh, the general. And this particular time, he won. He, he, he pulled it off. He came through. What am I saying? What I'm simply saying this, that in going through whatever you're going through and reaching your goals and handling your situations and handling your problems, a scattered mind ain't going to work. Um... I read a quote that said, uh, uh, "If you chase, if if you chase two rabbits, both of them gonna get away. You can't, you can't do too many things when you when your mind is scattered. It's not a good thing. And once your mind becomes scattered and becomes consumed with too many things, that's when you're gonna have problems. So we're gonna call this video here too many minds. Okay? I want y'all to bring it in, and I want y'all to focus." Justice problem in particular, she's worried about everything, uh, failing tests, getting, having to start all over, um, uh, not only starting over in the week she in, but then starting all the way back from the beginning, and she don't want to do that. She homesick. She missing my brother. She missing us. She missing her family. It's crazy. And all these worries that she's having, they're making her sick. She can't focus on what she's doing. She's losing it. It's not a good thing. This is where the law of attraction comes in. Um, all everything that we have, everything that we're gonna do, what we get in life, the power lies within us. It's down in our conscious and our subconscious. But if you, if your mind and if you, if you are in a confused state, that's what you're gonna attract. You're gonna attract confusion. Um, a, a confused mind works in the direction of sickness, poverty, lack, and limitation rather than abundance, health, and success. So we have to have the ability to control that. And you do have the ability to control your mind and your thoughts. You just have to slow down, think about what you're thinking about, see what's important in the moment, and go from there. If you can't grasp your mind, you are confined to the limitations that your mind has put on you. You know, whatever the negative thinking is that you have regarding what you're doing, that's what's going to magnify to it. It's a law of attraction. Think about it like this. How many times you done put on a white shirt and you think, I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to spill nothing on this shirt. But what ended up happening? You spilled something on the shirt. Why do you spill something on the shirt anyway? After trying all day not to get anything on that shirt. Let me tell you why. Because in your mind, you're saying, I don't want to, uh... I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to lose, um, I, I don't want to mess my shirt up, but in your subconscious, you, you still thinking the negative thing that you spilled something on your shirt. That's why it happens. Okay. So you have to learn to bring yourself in. You have to learn to focus on one thing at a time and knock it down one by one. Um, 
I learned this morning that you have to master the day that you're in. Everything that you have to deal with today, you master it. You, you complete your day at 100%. Deal with each thing as in a step-by-step -step process. Handle each one. Don't try to do a bunch of them at one time. When I lost my job, if I was too focused on trying to pay every bill with the little bit of money that I had, it would have drove me crazy. Instead, I focused on one bill at a time. Rent, car note, car insurance, and I was able, we were able to handle things. That's how you have to do it. You cannot go into these things that life presents you with a scattered mind. You have to be focused. You have to be concrete. To uh, Let me see. To conquer frustration, one must remain intensely focused on the outcome, not the obstacle. What that simply means is if you're focused on not the out, not the not your end game, like I've told you before, where you're gonna be at. Like I see myself standing in front of a stage. If I'm worried, if you're worried about all the things that you need to do to get to your end game, oh my God, it's gonna stress you out. You're not gonna do it because there's so much that you have to do before you get there. Justice is in a position where it's a lot of things that she has to do before she gets to the end of her uh, uh, her basic training. She focused on everything at one time. It's, it's, it's disturbing her. It's disrupting her. It's messing her game up. Not only that, but you have to link up with like-minded people. Um, she's The people that she's talking to, they got the same mindset as she. They frustrated. They homesick and all that. That ain't All you're doing is throwing salt on the wound. That ain't helping. You know, you have to link up with people that have the right mindset to do what it is that you're doing so that you can progress and go further. Because if you're sitting around the same people and they got the same worries as you, how y'all going to get better? It's not going to work out that way. Um, let me see. Okay, yes. So in focusing on these particular goals one at a time, it unlocks your mind. It frees you up so that you don't put limits on yourself. Because at the end of the day, we encage ourselves to our thought process. Like I told you, our perception. You, the way you perceive things is the way that you take it in, internalize it, and that's how it affects you. You don't want... Out, outside things should not affect you inwardly. To do that, you work on yourself on the inside so that you can handle the outside things. Everything goes smooth, okay? Um, I constantly stayed in a place of prayer, peace and focused on one goal at a time while we were going through our struggle and I was able to produce and be productive and get things done. You know, I was able to find work when there was no work. I was able to get money when there was no money. That's what focusing does. You have to focus. It's in you. You can do it. I told you, change your mind, change your life. If you clear your mind out, regardless of what you got going on and handle one thing at a time, you can get it done. You can do it. I promise you you can. It's, it's nothing in me that doesn't believe. If I didn't believe it, I wouldn't be telling it, telling y'all this, okay? So the word of the day is don't have too many minds, okay? Don't be worried about everything at one, at one time. It's going to stress you out. It's going to overload you. And if you overload, then you ain't going to be good to nobody. You gonna, It's going to make you sick. It's not going to do any good for you. Slow yourself down. Focus on what you're trying to do. Remember, focusing is putting all your time, your energy, and your effort into one specific thing at a time. Do that, and I guarantee you, yes, there's going to be times we got to multitask, but even still, you still have to focus on one thing at a time to get the total job done, okay? So, with that being said, um, I'm going to leave y'all with that. So, like I said, remember, too many minds, we only have one mind, one focus, one thought at a time. Control your mind, control your control your life, um, slow yourself down, think about what you're thinking about, um, don't chase those two rabbits, okay? Don't be scattered. Be in one place. Slow yourself down. It's in you. You can do it. Don't attract all these negative things to you because of the way that you're thinking inside. Attract the positive things. I can do this. I will do this. I can pass this training. I can pass this test. I can get this promotion. No buts. Take the buts out of there because the but leaves way for a negative and then all you're going to do is you're going to end up attracting what you don't want. No buts. Be confident in what you have, all right? So with that being said, I'm glad y'all heard me out today. Please take this and, and do something with it. Like it. Share it. Comment on me. I would like to hear y'all comments. I'd like to feel y'all thoughts on this and we can go back and forth. Um, like I said, share this for me. Uh, go check out the Midweek Medicine. I got photos and pictures and everything up on that. The video going to go on Midweek Medicine too. Um, 
with that being said, thanks for letting my uh, struggles of yesterday be your strength today and your inspiration for tomorrow. This is me. I'll catch y'all on the next one.